Well, continuing with the theme of showing you some of the enhancements to our drawing tools inside AutoCAD 2014, let's talk about the uh, fillet command. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to come up here to my layers and I'm going to change my layers. I want to make sure that I'm working on the furniture layer. And we're going to work on this particular conference table right here. If you'll come up here to your fillet command, and here it is, we're going to go ahead and select it. Uh, we're going to, the first thing again, uh, we can actually put in a fillet if we want. So if we say a radius and we say we want it to be two feet, and this is the example. Notice that I can go ahead and take in AutoCAD, I can have the ability to snap to an edge of a polyline and then this edge of a polyline. You can see the arc already being implied. If you click it one more time, there you've got your arc. Now here's the point I want to make. If you hesitate over on top of that arc, can you see how it's still a polyline? So now you can apply a fillet and not change uh, the polyline state in this example where it's a closed polyline. And the same is going to be true for a chamfer. Now watch what we can do to make this even faster. I'm going to go ahead and do a control Z to undo this command. And let's go back here to the fillet command. And we're going to say, I want to identify a polyline and we'll leave the radius here. I'll click on it. We'll leave the radius here to be two feet. Now watch what happens when I select this polyline. When I select it, can you see, in fact, if I hover over it, you can actually see the implied corners. But when I select it, it automatically will round the four corners and it still maintains its closed polyline shape here. So again, very well done. It's going to be true not just for a fillet command. You'll see in a few moments we'll repeat the thing, uh, the same process, but this time we'll do it with a uh, chamfer command. You'll see it's the same kind of enhancements and you're going to love it.